All right, Dylan, you clown. Little crybaby. Got himself kidnapped. Couldn't save himself. I mean, I can take a peek over here just real quick. Ugh. Oh, wow. Got all three of them. Yeah, there's nothing real quick about this game. I forgot. Have I been here before? I thought I did. Oh, if I had, I wouldn't be picking these up right now. All right, what bullcrap random little pickup do we have? In oh, I have been in here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is where all the discount Kroger brand Last of Us guys are. There they are. <laughs> Walmart brand clickers. See ya. Oh, Yeah, this thing killed me. He said, I'll do it again. Wait, can I control him? Gotcha. Can I still hit him anyway? Haha, <laughs> yes. I have, ooh. What must have happened when all this went down? Like, did everyone just, was it just a big burst and everyone starts levitating? Hey, Bob, I'm gonna need you to put those reports on my desk by Thursday. <laughs> I don't know why I even opened that. I've probably got so many materials and stuff that I could craft. I could just be god tier, but I just don't really mess with all that. So, so I have no idea. Uh, curse you, Remedy. And your exploration rewards. I don't want to explore, but I have to. Physical contact renders subject dizzy and disoriented. Reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity. It grows worse with prolonged contact. And... The S word has been reported in people who handled it for too long. <gasps> Dr. Darling. Yes. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1960. <laughs> That's ballsy. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. P6 cell breached. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Oh, Mr. Motel. Here we go. A one. Oh. <laughs> what are you expecting that one? A to who? Nice color scheme. And three. Here for a puzzle. Again. Where's that coming from? Is that outside? It's coming from in there. I think that's blood. Or maybe that's just the bathroom. Nothing to worry about. There's water everywhere! <laughs> okay, so this one will only let me move the map. So the painting is normal in this one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Keys. I'll take it. I'm gonna keep trying the janitor's office. Nope. I would like to know why this place keeps popping up. One. A two. -hoo. A three. Find it's been a Dylan. Long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he grow up to be? Nice comb over. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? Right. Uh. Well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We Too bad. We have everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. For all altered items... I don't have time for this. Cut him off. And I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. We've got an object of power loose in there, and... <laughs> It's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? I'll handle it. If you say so. <laughs> uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. It's, it's business as usual, honestly, at this point. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Are these robots? You know what? Never mind. I'll take care of them. Yeah, I agree. Why are they talking like that? Yeah, I said this in the last stream, and I'll say it again. Everything about this scenario should be a horror story, but Jessie has just not allowed that to happen. Like, she just kicked the door in and started blasting. So anyway, she started blasting. Exhibit A. 
We have a TV to fight. What is this? A mailbox. A basket. When you put something inside this basket, it grows seven times its size. The medical applications of that would be phenomenal. If you know, you know. I don't know, but Remedy, I'm gonna need some information on all these. Is that a sledgehammer? Is it Thor's hammer? Huh? Huh? Or Thor's hammer, excuse me, from Alan Wake. Jesse is the killer, not the final girl. That's exactly right. Something <clears throat> went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? hey -o. Yeah, floating demon, zo <laughs> demon zombie orc. We'll just keep trucking. Hello. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Oh. Damn. Oh, it's like the Doctor Who, the Damn, angels. I'm sorry. Whatever they're called. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. They just forgot about him? Assist the agent after Dylan has been found. Okay. I would probably stop and help this dude right here. Like, I'd be willing to... To... Gosh. I'd be willing to break away from what I'm doing to help him out with that. Going on in here? He dodged it? Alright. Hello, companions. What just... That was weak. Behind me! We will prosper! Yeah, what if you were fighting off all these things, and then some random chick shows up and she starts levitating objects? I would like them to help me. I guess they're not gonna. That's the object of power. I Whoa. need to cleanse it. Can I walk into them? What happens? No, nothing. Okay. Well, don't sit here and look at it. Control 2, yeah, Control 2 is going to be whack, but honestly, I think they're going to tone it down a bit because they're probably going to may maybe see some of the criticisms of Alan Wake 2, how it went a little too far, and so they might tone down the weirdness a bit, or at least slow down the pacing of it. Because like this game, I've noticed that there's a lot of breaks in between new story beats, like you can you get to play for a while and then something comes up, whereas Alan Wake 2, like you'll basically get two revelations and plot twists in one what in one cutscene go ahead drop him down is this a boss fight oh yes it is help me fight for me yes good night that thing was salvador the head of security here we go again well, in a moment. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing. Witnesses said it's a black sphere with a faint light. On the ocean floor, they found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except the anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the agent ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Oh, that's trippy. It's a good picture. I'm going to screenshot that. Yeah. Oh, I can levitate now. Yes, this is what I wanted. Yes, please. I write this as I sit beside it. The light is comforting, so familiar. It reminds me of summer nights when I was a boy. We'll be young and happy forever here in its glow. Appendix. Oh, gosh. What happened to him? The author of this document was detained shortly after this case file was distributed. Individual handling of the item is now prohibited. Information in the document may be comprised by the author's obvious infatuation with the item. So that's why the lamp was popular and the restaurant was popular, because it makes people love it, I guess. Yeah, see, this, this whole room is jacked. There's desks on the walls. I love that I can levitate. This is great. All right, music's going goo-goo, so there must be enemies. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Not messing with all that. I just gotta be careful with the controls. So you can hold A to go up higher. You can't just go up and down, up and down, though. Your first time up, you have to decide how high you want to go. It look. That's how it looks. Snipers? We got snipers now? P6 cell. 
Yeah, this is it. Have I seen this swan boat before? I feel like I have. Maybe it was a, the rubber duck I'm thinking of. It's a balloon. A crowbar. Mr. Freeman. Oh yeah, he broke... I guess he broke out. They just been keeping him in this box for 17 years? Death... Oh, it's Emily. Can you hear me? Dear God. I almost put you in my thumbnail. That's how much I despise you. Alright, what? I'm listening. Talk. Gosh, Emily Pope's the worst. Dylan fade in observation. Begins talking to self. Becomes upset. Sedated. Oh, so this was where he was kept. In here. He busted up out of there. Are you there? Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. Jesse. I'm on my way. Well, that's anticlimactic. So he busted out and then turned himself in. Oh, now there's going to be more collectibles hidden in better places because I can fly. Is that the sky? Can I get out of here? No, that's not the sky because we're in the middle of a building. Alright, let's go help Ridge Guy. I'm guessing I just need to go talk to his supervisor. The come over guy. How out of their way they went. I'm glad I can do that in the middle of falling. I didn't even, I didn't even know I could do that. I'm glad I can. Oh, I guess I probably should have taken the elevator. Nah, elevator, shm elevator. How much farther down do I need to keep going? Remedy cracked the code because all they have to do is just make like one asset or two one asset flip and they can create this whole backstory lore behind it. And people go, oh wow, wow, that's really cool and interesting. And all, like, all they did was <laughs> just, I mean, they did the more writing than anything. Oh my, I don't know what did that to him? You know what, let's pull it out of you, brother. Sorry, you had to go out like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, none of that. Oh, get away from that thing. Go, 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 go. I don't know if it kills you instantly or what. At the very least, it makes my screen go full chaos when it gets too close. Data! Can I even kill it? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'm not so sure I can. It was just them. Oh, you little, little jump scare there, huh? Opened up a loot box and it's just a... Banshee, whatever the heck these things are. I think I'm gonna start calling these things Banshees. Unless they have an official name. Are they just non-stop? You know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm not worried about you. I'm starting to think... <laughs> starting to think this whole room is a just one big joke prank. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Glad we could sightsee, gentlemen, but unfortunately, I have other matters to attend to. Gotta help a man- I gotta see a man about a fridge. Ah, fridge boy. I have returned. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston. If he's still around, please hurry. My eyes, they can't. They can't! My eyes hurt so much! Just hang on, Philip. So somebody has to sit and watch this thing at all times. How do you determine that, I wonder? Like, just all hell's breaking loose, terrible things are happening. Like, how do you, how do you determine through that process of elimination that, oh hey, well it actually chills out as long as we're looking at it. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. Oh my He's god. Been there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The that mouth so movement is so weird in this game. Like the character models look fine, it's just the the, the mouth done. movement looks so weird. Oh, if we don't have someone in there watching it 24/7, people will die. He he specifically looks like the friggin' mouth of Sauron. I'm pretty good with altered items isn't standard <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Am, I, am I watching the fridge now? I don't want to watch the fridge. The fridge is doing something. Philip? Philip? Uh. Oh no. If I look away, it hurts me. What happened? 
Oh, he's gone. Did it eat him? Find a way to subdue. I can't get out, and I can't look away. What do you mean I can't get out? Yes, I can. I can get out. I'm out right now. See? Oh, can't. Okay, someone has to watch it at all times. Let's just uh, let's get up close to it. That seemed to work. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Yeah, this is not the regular astral plane. This is something different. Whoa. What am I looking at? You know what? Eat blocks, buddy. The former? This is some Lovecraft stuff going on here. Woo! Wild theory and based on nothing but conjecture. Ugh. This is some kind of eldritch being that has been around since before the board, hence the name the former, and it speaks like the board. And it swallows you or takes you into Whoa! Oh, I fell. Is that what happened to Philip? Poor guy. He did he land here and this thing is just eating him? That went way far. I thought it was gonna end after I cleansed it. I'd be like, "Oh, you cleansed it. That was that that side mission was just to show you something like uh, the fridge." But I was not expecting a boss fight with an elder god. Yeah, wormy came in the wrong gosh darn rec room, didn't you? Oh, I can just sit here and float. Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, that does so much more damage to it. Maybe it's from his his uh his little. Squidward tentacles. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Alright. Cthulhu. Oh, now he's doing both. This ain't good. See ya. Did I get him? Yeah. Wait. There's no black pyramid here. Yeah, right. That's what I said. It's not the same astral plane. Did fighting that thing off change something? Well, Philip's not fixed. How does that how does that help our boy Philip? Where's Philip? He's dead. Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. Yeah, you're fired, Langston. Fire her, Jesse. Like fridge duty. Fire him. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. Oh, I guess I'm full of personal mods again. I just I just don't I just don't care. I don't care. Yeah, there's way more clocks in here now. How do people work in a place like this? This place, like, ha half of what we fought is not even the main antagonist of the game. <laughs> like, it's just random things that could arguably happen on any Tuesday in the Bureau of Control. Like, oh yeah, these these magic clocks got out. They're flying around the room and giving people concussions. Gonna need a janitor to go in there and clean that up, please. Oh yeah, Philip, he got eaten by a fridge. You know, no big deal. What? No, is there another one? If there's another one, I'm just leaving. Is it this? Do I just pull the blocks off of here? Am I doing what I'm supposed to? I can't tell. Yes, I am. Okay. Not a complete waste of time then. Good. Get cleansed. Wasn't so bad. Threshold in the containment sector. Simultaneously, numerous something appeared in the area, injuring and killing many. Rangers were sent in to discover the threshold's epicenter. The sheer amount of something. The area was sealed off. After removing the clocks, proved an impossible task. Department was relocated and the area abandoned. There's just so many clocks. <laughs> just repeating clocks just appearing out of this thing that they're like, you know what, screw it. We'll, ju we'll just move offices. It's not worth it. Too many clocks. Too many clocks. I am having fun, because usually side missions in games I reluctantly do just to get them over with. But Control, like, they put a lot of effort into their side missions. Like, they they all add a, a solid, um, like, story layer or some world building or something. Or give you new abilities. I mean, it's, it's hard not to do the side missions. Oh, there's the anchor. I don't know if I can make that. Can I get across here? Actually, I think I can. All right, I got nervous for nothing. Are we fighting the anchor now. What the fuck is that? We're fighting a giant scrunchy. No, that is the anchor. Okay. What am I looking at? It's making more clocks. <laughs> it's spitting out more clocks. That's hilarious. So this is where the clocks are coming from. 
Come on, brother. Spit it out. Boom. Maybe this is the ball they were talking about. That's pretty funny that this is what's spitting out the clocks. One more and you're done. <clears throat> nope, nope, none of that. No, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, there's our anchor. What power will I get now? In their engine, I mean. There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. Okay, so I did not get a power, but I did get a bunch of points to use for upgrades, so. And then we have to go speak to terrible, horrible, awful Emily. God, she sucks. God, I don't want to talk to Emily. I don't know why I hate her so much. She's just so boring. Her conversations go forever. Oh, is this the big head guy? Is he up here now? <laughs> yeah, it's him. Any idea what it does? I'm gonna call him Hammerhead. Ah, uh, that is a jukebox token. How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. Oh, so this is, maybe this is why the, it's all old time technology. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal. Maybe radio? Cellular? I don't know. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural something, for the oldest house to something. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for something to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Wow. Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. Great, he's a psycho. I'm P6. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. <laughs> Excuse me? It feels good to say those words. I bet it does. I want to say that. In front of your sister? That's weird. They sound good. Uh, they make me feel good. Alright. He's an incel. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. You. Uh oh. You can't do the whole in you. He's big mad. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. Oh, now you're speaking in first person. Ordinary. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. So they came to the there, slide projector. There it is. I'm gonna assume we're gonna see this slide projector at some point. This dude's such a freak. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. The hiss is overtly sexual. It's really, really weird. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Oh, did he have Polaris in his head too? Polaris is using you. This guy was gonna be the director. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Why is she talking smack about him speaking in third person when she stops to have an inner monologue every five seconds? Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilians civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. 
we can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Did something just drip? What is that? Oh, it's mail. Okay. Completing each of the four will dismantle the formation to reveal the rewards waiting inside. Sure, let's try it. Causal link active. I like playing stuff and I like doing all that. And I kind of... Boom! <laughs> I thought he was going to dodge that he just didn't. That's funny. Holy mother. Okay, so you've got the ones that sit there and float and dodge everything you throw at them while throwing stuff at you. And then you've got the ones that float towards you and explode when they get too close. <laughs> I'm going to grab a rocket at some point. It's going to happen. You. You. Come here. Shoot me the rocket. Go ahead. <laughs> and he dodged it? So one of... Wow. Actually, cleanse is pretty quick. Why was I having so much trouble before? Some of the enemies in this game are so... Unbelievably broken. Not broken, just like more difficult than they should be. Frustrating to fight, I guess I should say. So like that guy, I need to take him out first. That's a fact. Twice to get his little deputy sheriff. See, and then his shield just goes right back up. All right, I'm just gonna have to come down here. Not because I want to. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Enough of this. Enough. Give me a grenade. How come I don't have a grenade? Because I can throw five ton objects. <laughs> oh. My. God. I guess I've never done this. Why have I never done this? Just held the map open. Yeah, that makes it so much easier. Kind of. Am I even going the right way? Levitation. No breathing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you know, so be it. What the? Get blasted. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. Who's P7? My one gripe with this game, I think... The combat's good, don't get me wrong. It's miles, miles ahead of Alan Wake 1. Almost feels like it's goal is to try to be more difficult than it is to be fun. I know that there can be fun in difficulty, so I guess to try to explain, like for example, it's not fun to me for enemies to dodge what I my what I'm throwing at them every time. It's it's fun to feel like a Jedi and throw stuff at people. It's not fun when every enemy has some kind of counter to your coolest attacks, you know? I don't, I don't want the game to be too easy. I don't really jump into Remedy games to try and be challenged. I jump in the, into them for the story more than anything. And this game doesn't have a difficulty mode, right? So I think it's it kind of just goes based on how you're doing. really get that option to just kind of coast. Uh, I guess the best way I could put it is, if y'all have ever played the Batman Arkham games, think about the beginning of one of those games and the end of one of those games. How different the combat looks. At the beginning, you'll be put in a room with like 10, 20 guys, and you're having to counter them and punch them, and you feel really cool, and you're taking them all down. It's still tough. It's not super easy. Um, but then you get to the end of the game. And by that point, they have introduced every special type of enemy there is. So, like, you have the right shielders who you have to jump over. You have the knife guys who you have to hold down the counter button with. At the end of the Batman games, it doesn't really allow you to just have fun with the combat. Like, you have to use a specific move on a specific enemy type every time if you want to be able to beat them. And that's kind of what I'm feeling like is already happening in this game a bit. I don't dislike it. I still like it very much. I'm not I'm not having a 
Wow, that was cool. But there's so many cool things happening and that we're seeing and like bits of lore and like this is all really neat. And the visuals are still still hold up just fine. Like everything looks good. It's just the it's just the difficult combat <laughs> that I'm like, yeah, this isn't this just isn't why I came here. I came here because I call myself a Remedy fan, but I've never beaten this game, so it felt like I've been blaspheming all these years. Is he healing? He is healing. He absolutely is healing. No wonder it's taking me forever to fight this guy. This guy is healing. This is ridiculous. Come here. Oh, gotta reload. There we go. Should have rushed him with a shotgun ten minutes ago. Alice Wake. Whoa! Hey, hu, 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 hu. Bright Falls, AWE 35. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of something, memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman, refer to the Creator's Dilemma and the file Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. <sighs> para-utilitarian. Those are people that use objects of power, I think. Yes. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I, I commented on that in my Alan Wake breakdown video. God. And I'd never even played this game before. I didn't know that it was canon. Um, in 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. And you see that monitoring station, Alan Wake, too. God. Th that's night and day. That's exactly what I'm talking about. With what I was just experiencing five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, versus just now. Like, I'm getting- I'm a giddy little schoolgirl reading the- reading the lore and reading the connections to Alan Wake, but I'm getting frustrated and pissed off whenever I'm- I'm dying ten times to some flying, screaming, floating demon. P6, this is Dylan's room. Dr. Darling, my darling. Things. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy, so much. Potential, but he's he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Have a soft spot for Dylan there, Doctor Darling. So maybe Darling took him under his wing. Is it bad that I don't care about Dylan? I know that's like the main point of the plot, but I just don't care. I'm way more interested in uh, the Bureau, the Hiss, the Oldest House, all that stuff. Oh, who's P7? Is it Jesse? Hello, Courtney Hope. So they've been watching Jesse. So it was not a coincidence that she's director or that she got inside. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever inside a painting? No. Stepping into a painting. All right, I've had enough of the gaslighting. I don't care anymore. That's where I really want to be. That picture right there. You see that? That looks like some Montana mountains straight out of Red Dead. That's where I want to go. The ones with the sinking ships, sometimes you fall. <laughs> All right, no more reading chat. Yeah, but if, if it has to choose you, then why would the Bureau even have candidates in the first place like they wouldn't get to decide that maybe the board informs them of who the candidates are we still don't know who the board is yet the all all i know is um every time the, the board speaks it shows the pyramid the upside down pyramid i guess the board is the pyramid or it's some kind of communication from the board to us and they're using the pyramid somehow e either way we know that the board's not just a group of people sitting around a table 
page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel. It was linked to the, the page has been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. Ah! 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 The page was discovered in the Ocean View Motel. It was pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they are the same. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear. Desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion. Falls. Haunting. Wake. Light switch. Ocean. Too late. In the final sentence, you've been warned. That's good stuff. Thank you, Remedy. Let's check out my new my new scrubs or new threads. Oh, you can't. You have to do it in the main. You know what? It's worth it. I want to see what it is. Can we see the new outfit before you go? Yes, Marula. We absolutely can. I'm headed to go check out the outfit right now. Don't suck. Don't suck. Don't suck. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> no. Oh, we're wearing sweats. I I mean I guess I I should have expected that. It's just basically what Dylan's wearing. Dang it. A new outfit's a new outfit. Don't tell me it's another one. Go. Sit still. Where are you? Boom. See, that was way easier to kill than that one in the in the time trial. That thing. Search for the slide projector object of power. Hello! <laughs> Merry Christmas! AWE occurred in the town caused by an object of power discovered by local children at the dump. When a specific set of slides are used, the images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used, resulting in the disappearance of the town. So yeah, way to go, Jesse and Dylan. Y'all did, did it. Siblings Dylan and Jesse were playing at the local dump when they found discarded slide projector. A team led by Trench and Darling arrived. It had already ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned, with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17, oh, 17 surviving individuals were found. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys? What's a dung monkey? That's, that, that sounds iffy there, Dylan. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about that. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from down joined up. It was really scary. Is that the name of the gang? Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so he changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Ah, Polaris. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Yeah, it sounds like something a child would come up with. Sounds like a father-son relationship yeah, between Dylan and Darling. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is blue, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. I don't know why I'm messing with the camera like that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. I think I'm, mess I'm messing with where the audio comes from. Like it's coming out of my right ear right now. Now it's coming out of my left. Now it's coming out of both. Alright, so Dylan's nuts. Got it. Enough of that. So Dylan's been cuckoo for a while, and Dr. Darling's been kind of preparing him to be director. And then as he started losing it, looks like Darling stopped visiting him as much. And Dylan was big sad. 